Okay, guys, here we are. It's uh, Sunday, October 17th, 2021. We're in New York State. I'm going to recurve again. Today I got my saddle and some climbing sticks. So hopefully it'll be a little less to carry. In any case, we're, uh, we're going to go check this out. With the wind direction on the leeward side, we're going to go back in on one of these benches down to the uh, the east. There are a few houses with apple trees. I think some of the deer are going down in there to feed on them at night. And so my expectation is they'll be bedding somewheres up in there. So let's get... Uh, Let's get things going here. Let's get set up. Things packed up and let's get our hiking going. We got a ways to go. I'm running a little bit late. Um, but at least uh, it'll probably be daylight by the time I get set up. But I'll be able to uh, maybe do a little scouting on my way up in there. Hopefully not spook too many deer. We'll see you in the tree. just over the just over the edge there or it looks like they're skirting around this point a lot of times them bucks don't want to come right up on the tops they like to skirt the edge the lower edge or the higher edge hey look at this nice nice hiking trail wish I would have known about that on the way in here I wouldn't be sweating so much. Could have just walked down through here. So let's get down here and check this out. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so we're still scouting here. Off this point, it looks pretty decent. There are some trails coming through here. But I'm not seeing a lot of sign. I haven't seen any scat. I'm seeing some historic beds, historic rubs. But I'm working my way back down the mountain. 
that's where we're at now. I'm not sure where to where to set up here. And it's eight o'clock already. I'm getting my exercise for the day, that's for sure. Carrying all this stuff up in here. Um I really don't wanna sit unless I find some fresh sign, fresh scat, fresh beds, fresh brows, something. And I'm just not seeing that yet. So I'm gonna keep working down off this point. <sighs> Maybe either go to that point or back in the way I came. The truck is down here in this corner. Um, I'm not really sure here. <sighs> Maybe this was just a bad, bad idea. <sighs> I know back in here would be, I've seen a lot of sign in there, but with the wind blowing the way it is, um, probably be back back in here because I'm box will probably be skirting this around with the direction of the wind to set check down in there my original thought was to go back in here and go down this 450 ridge down into here Any bucks that were above me would smell me, but any bucks that were working that ridge and set checking, it'd have been fine if they were, if I was on the right line. So let's work down through here, see what sign we see. If we don't see a lot of sign, we'll go to a different spot and go from there. so much nicer to carry a recurve. It's so much lighter. Talk to you soon. Knowing where these hiking trails are probably saved me some tough walking. Uh, I come in from the bottom here. There's a, a clear cut path that goes along the edge of this property. Walked all the way, I don't know, probably 1,500, 2,000 yards. And then I cut up over, and then I've been working down this point. Now, I would think deer would be bedded on this point. But if the food's not in there, they're not going to hang out in there. There are some oaks, some white oaks, some red oaks. Rock oak, but there's not, there's not a lot of acorns this year. I just don't think the deer are in here. The food's not here. Now they may come back in here for these brows. Uh, maybe gun season or after gun season. When they get pressured. But as it stands right now, I'm not seeing Jack in here. That's getting me excited to want to hunt it. So we're going to go find a spot to hunt. Okay. So, morning adventure didn't pan out. Didn't find enough sign. So, we're going to go back on this ridge here. We're going to walk out this trail above the blue dot. And we're going to skirt this ridge back. And hopefully, with the wind, the way that wind's going, that the bucks will be scent checking that valley down in there. So we'll go out there, hit the 500 ridge, 450 ridge, just kind of scout around, see if we see any any good deer sign we see some good deer sign maybe we'll set up for an evening hunt 
So that's where we're at right now. Okay, so face is painted. I think we're ready. Um, based on the wind. Kind of looks like it's swooping around a little bit, but mainly going that direction. So this bowl wraps around like this back in here. So we're going to shoot out here. This is where I found those uh, helium balloons the other day that uh, the bucks have used, the thermals, for bedding. And since the wind's coming up out of here, I would suspect a buck seeking a hot doe would be skirting that edge, scent checking that down in there. And so all we got to do is cut them off. We got to get on the right trail and hope the bucks are moving and we can cut them off. I'm not taking the saddle, I'm not taking the climbing sticks. We're uh, mainly just going to scout. <clears throat> but who knows what we might find. And so we find something good we're going to try to set up for a ground hunt I've never been back in this area here but with the wind direction it's either hunt the leeward side or hunt the, the, the other side for scent checking bucks um, this morning I tried to hunt bedding didn't work out for me so now we're going to go in here and try to find some active deer. In here, looks like a heck of a trail right out through here. So we got some deer moving through here. Now I just got to find some, some bedding, find out what they're eating on, get in the middle. The wind seems to be blowing this direction right now. I'm going to peek over this bank over here. Spot for a bedded buck. Alright, so started walking down through here and I ran into two nice gentlemen. Uh, they were just on their way out. They said that they uh, hadn't seen no deer. They were also from Pennsylvania. But they also had not seen any sign, any scat, any rubs, any scrapes, or any acorns. Well, I look around right here, I'm seeing a few acorns, which I think is coming from, I think this is a rock oak. There's a few of them through here. Maybe it's a red oak. Some red oaks, that's a red oak, but some of these are rock oaks, I believe. I could be wrong, but there's a hell of a trail down through here. You can see it right up through there. And then there's a, a game commission road path there. So we're looking at this bench here. And this goes way down in and back up the other side. But the wind is blowing right this direction. So I could picture a nice buck skirting this edge, scent checking down in there. 
not to say that that's going to happen, but I think I'm putting myself at better odds. Uh, with the wind in my face, I'm going to try to skirt down through here, maybe find a bedded buck. and possibly do a spot and stalk on them with the recurve. That would be an accomplishment. Done it with the compound, but never with the recurve. So let's go down in here, see if we can't find some sign. If we keep finding acorns, we should find some scat here before long. That'll at least let me know that there's some deer moving through here. Maybe find some fresh sign, find some bedding. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Well, it's now two o'clock, a little after two. Been hiking quite a few miles and uh, we just found some black trumpets. A bunch of them in here. Those things are delicious. But I did find down off this bench, I started finding scat. There's a couple trails that converge on this next, next bench down. When I was down there, the wind was blowing right in my face. I could smell that punky odor of a buck. The scat I seen didn't look real fresh, but then I seen a big track. And I seen two small scrapes right next to those trails. And a buck rub on a tree about that big around. Big bucks rub big trees? Not necessarily. So, seeing as how I'm not seeing any other sign in here, I don't know if that's a mature buck or not. The track I found did look like it came from a mature buck. Um, there was some historical sign rubbings in that area. If I were a betting man, I'd put my money that that is probably a more mature buck. I don't think these bigger bucks have to make giant scrapes. I don't think they need to make giant buck rubs. It takes a lot of energy. They're smart about it. They need to save their energy for mating season. These young bucks, they rub and rub and rub. These older bucks tend to not give away their hiding spots too much. And that was the first buck rub I've seen on this side of the mountain yet today. And I've probably walked, I don't know, two, maybe three miles, probably two miles. I've been still hunting, walking real slow, a couple steps. Uh, with the wind in my face, hoping that I could walk up on a bedded buck. So, lots of mushrooms. Found a mastaki, or hen of the woods, uh, in the first trek. Just found these uh, black trumpets here. So, we're gonna head that way. I gotta use the bathroom, and I'm getting hungry, so. I think the truck's that way. I'll look at my phone so I don't get lost again this time. But we're gonna beat feet up out of here. Uh, readjust. Maybe go down on the lower section of this plot. Uh, and see if we see a little more sign down in next to the housing developments and such down by the access. I've learned some more of this property. 
but I've yet to even see a tail today, which is pretty amazing. I mean, these are beautiful woods. Last year, this was archery season, it was tore up. I would always go in here, pick a spot on a map, well, on the other side, in different parts. I could pick a spot on a map, go in there and find deer, and see deer, and shoot deer. This year, with the limited supply of acorns, that seems to be somewhat cumbersome. I know there's bucks in here, and big bucks. There are some giant bucks in here, ones that die of old age because they never get shot. But we're going to beat feet out of here and see what happens. Okay guys, so we are about 200 yards from the truck, and what do I find? A big old buck rub. All these historical buck rubs are all the way through along the edge of this field, this big opening. And we go over here. buck rubs. So I'm betting that buck is either bedded behind me headed this way or I'm sorry bedded over there headed this way or behind me headed that way. Interesting. The deer are right beside the parking lot. At least this buck is. Let's see what else we got here for sign. We'll probably jump him up. He'll probably be right in front of my truck. But this is a, this is good sign. I mean, there's a lot of historic rubs here and all these trees. I'm sure there'll be a scrape right here. If not, we'll make one. Then maybe we can come back and hunt this. Look at those old rubs on those trees. Pretty amazing, right? Heck of a trail through here. So I'm going to put the camera up. And this is going to be my closing. I learned a lot today. I learned the deer aren't miles from the truck. So I'm gonna put this camera up, still hunt my way through here in case I kick this buck up. Maybe he'll offer me a shot. It was a good day. It was a long day, long hike. Good for the body, right? Hopefully we'll have a deer down soon. Thanks for watching.